How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am at work right now on my boat. Just kind of chilling. Hanging out, waiting for something to do. So, I figured I'd make a video on how to swap batteries out in a key fob for a Jeep Wrangler. Now this will probably work for other makes and models, but I drive a Jeep Wrangler every day. So that's what I'm gonna swap batteries in. Keep watching. All right, key fob, Jeep Wrangler. Click the button, pops open. Okay, and it is, e it is easier to have your key out. So on one end, you'll see this little notch right there. Okay, stick your screwdriver in there and just pop it apart. Okay, then you kind of work around the sides if you need to. Pops, pops right apart, see? And then, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but there is a little screwdriver deal right here. Well, no, right there. It kind of tells you to put your screwdriver right there to pop this battery out. So, let's see. This says screwdriver is small enough. Yep. Well, that's kind of... Oh, oh, there it goes. Flew out on me. Let me pick it up. All right. So, there it is. It goes right there. Now let's open up the whole energizer pack here. Get the... Get the fresh battery out. Oh, man, I make these things where I can't hardly get them out. Get out of there, little battery. Oh, come on now. Good thread. Oh, it smokes. Something's really in there. Ow. Goodness gracious. It's like vacuum sealed or something. That's crazy. All right, hold on a minute. Okay, that was a bit of a chore. All right, so the, this particular key fob takes a CR2450 uh, battery. So once you fight with it for 10 minutes and get it out of the tiny little package, you just pop it back in. You take your cover and pop your cover back on. Make sure not to hit any buttons. You don't want your stuff going off. There you go. Just like that. Now, got another one. Again, same thing. Open her up. Don't have to, but it helps. But it helps. Pop her apart. Pop that side apart. Okay. And again, got a little screwdriver piece of showing you where to pop your battery on it. Yeah, kind of wedge it in there. And pry it out. Try not to let, let it fly across the room again. There you go. So now you just take your other battery and do the same thing pop her in a place and then pop your cover back on make sure you try and get on the right way pow good as new there you go all right so there you have it super simple how to pop new batteries on i would recommend keeping your old batteries just in case the new batteries are bad and you can pop an old one back in it and maybe get your vehicle started and get you to the store to get some more batteries so i'm just going to keep those batteries in my pocket until i go home in the morning and hopefully we won't have any issues so again thanks for watching like the video comment share if you know somebody that needs a battery replacement and key fob super easy um believe it or not dealerships can actually charge for that kind of stuff They'll charge you like 40 or 50 bucks for a battery when you know you go to 
anywhere and get a couple of them for like eight or nine dollars. So do it yourself. Don't go to the dealer. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Y'all have fun.